Welcome to the EMWorks video tutorial series. This video tutorial focuses on designing and analyzing electromagnetic clutches. This clutch model is built in SOLIDWORKS and consists of a steel shell surrounding a copper coil. The entire subassembly is set inside a steel rotor which has a steel armature placed under it. Two air components are also present. One shows the field close to the steel. The other acts as an infinite enclosure to take into account the smaller values of the field distributions. To analyze the clutch, we need to begin a new study through EMS. This will be a magnetostatic study, where we will also include calculation for inductance and resistance, as well as steady-state thermal analysis. Once the study is defined, we need to apply the materials to all the bodies. This is done through the Material Browser, which accesses an expandable library. These materials can be copied from one body to another. This material library contains many different types of materials. They include nonlinear steels, permanent magnets, conductors, and insulators, and even air. Once all these materials have been applied, the user will be ready to work on other pre-processing data. In this example, a DC current will be applied on the coils inside the steel shell. By creating a new wound coil, select the body that acts as the coil, Enter the phase of entry for the current, then the phase of exit, the number of turns, their diameter, and the current that goes through each turn. This defines the excitation that creates the magnetic field. After creating the coils, the user can request to calculate the force or the torque acting on the steel armature. Simply select the armature and specify the torque center. The finite element mesh has to be defined. Simply by creating the mesh, specifying the average number of elements that the user wants across a body, or specifying the global element size, a mesh can be generated easily. After reviewing the mesh, and all of the other inputs. You are ready to run the analysis. After the analysis is completed, you can view the results in 2D or 3D plots. The 3D plots can either be viewed as continuous magnitude plots or as vector plots, where you can see both the magnitudes in colors and the directions. You can also cut a section through the plot to view the fields inside. Panning, zooming, and rolling can also be done in a single click. The results for thermal analysis include the temperature, the temperature gradient, as well as the heat flux. You can perform the same types of manipulations on these plots as you can on the magnetic plots. You can also view the force, the torque, the inductance, and the energy in the results table. After completing the design and the analysis, you can view a report of the study which includes all of the plots as well as details for the inputs in the mesh. This can be saved either as an HTML report, which can also be viewed inside the SOLIDWORKS environment or as a Word document. For more information on our software, please visit the EMWorks website.